and uh, how you say I can take it again. Mm -hmm. And you know, as I was looking at things, I laid it down. And you know, some things we won't lay down. Mm -hmm. We not, we would not lay it down. We hold to it and we cling to it. And and when we don't lay it down, something it called death to us. Mm -hmm. But when Jesus laid his life down, he brought life. Mm -hmm. And see, we need to start what? Laying things down. Mm -hmm. and, and you got power to take whatever back, you know. Mm -hmm. And I'm just saying tonight, we need to learn to have the same, what, mental attitude that Jesus had. Amen? Mm -hmm. People so caught up with stuff, they can't even leave. You know, because they're holding on to stuff. Yeah. They won't lay it down. And you know, I, I can talk about my family. Amen. My sister Mary. They, my sister called this morning talking about her. And my sister hold on to so much stuff yeah. to the point that she done become bitter, you know. And she hold on the past of life, you know. What that happened to her 20, 30 years ago, so she have a what? laid it down so what she doing she walking in death death of the flesh and there's no joy and death of the flesh yeah i want y'all to look at it now jesus died now we are dying death in our flesh we don't have no joy no peace we don't we, we're not confident in life we don't see our way out of things because we death in our flesh and that's the way my sister, and she called pain to her own children. Mm -hmm. And so we got to learn what? To lay things down. I mean everything. Because <laughs> we can't change it. Mm -hmm. And the only way to change is through Jesus Christ. Amen. So that's why Jesus said, I laid my life down so we can have a freedom. A divine freedom in life. Amen. I'm a, and what I like what he said. That, and then how he... Say I laid it down, then I have authority to take it back. Amen. Come on now. Amen. We have authority to take stuff back. Amen. Amen. When folks say negative words about you, you know what they're saying? You feel something, you got power to speak against the negative word and take that back. <laughs> take your joy back, your yeah. stuff back. Amen. So we are learning. I like what Jesus said that, amen. So I'm in John 10, verse 17 to 18. And I want somebody to read for me, verse 17. It says, Therefore, would my father love me. So Jesus knew his father what? Love. Loved him. So he knew his what? His position. He knew how his father felt about him. Yeah. Now this is where we got to get. We got to Know the, how Jesus feel about us. Amen. Now, look what else he said. Because I laid down my life. Because, he said, because I laid down my life. Jesus, Jesus did just what the Father told him to do. He knew what his purpose was what, to come to the earth. To die for the sin of the world. Amen. Now, look what he said. That I might take it again. I like that. That I might take it again. He knew he was going to die, but he also knew he was going to rise. He knew he was going to be able to come back and see that. He knew that what you go through in life or what you're going through, you got to realize within yourself, although I'm going through this, but I got power to take it back. Instead of walking in death, you got to realize I'm going through this, but I'm bouncing back. And stop looking at it like I ain't coming back, but you're bouncing back. He said that I might take it again. Now look what it said. No man taking it from me. I like that part. Right there. No man take it from me. No man. No man can take nothing from you. No man can take your joy but you. No man can 
didn't take no job or nothing that haven't been ordained by God to be taken. You can speak the word and turn that thing around. And I know that for a fact. Because when they were talking about taking that trailer down there, I stood on God's word. And they did not take it. I ain't saying what you're going to go through. This is the thing we don't want to go through. Jesus went through it. You got to go through it. And Jesus will prove that you are who you are in him. <laughs> he said, no man take it from me. I like that, and I meditate on that. I said to myself, don't make me take my joy. I mean, nobody can take me and take me to places that I don't look bad and come my country look bad. I'm not gonna let nobody come in here and take something from me. <laughs> look how people look. we like people to take from us. You have, and then all of a sudden you come in there. Somebody started talking crazy to you. What'd you do? They already took what? Took it from you. People would take from you. And people think it's his money, but people would take. Can't stand to see you happy. They'll come and do something to take it from you. And it's yours. And so I'm giving it. No, you and I like that when Jesus said, No man take it from me, the way he said. But I lay it down of myself. But I laid it down of myself. But I, I like that word, but. But I laid it down of myself. So <laughs> no man took his life, he laid it down for himself. So anything that you do, you do it for your. I ain't going to argue with you. It ain't because I can argue with you. I, I just refuse to argue. I do that for myself. Because I know for myself, I'm cutting my stuff off. Amen. See, I'm cutting my lifeline off because I took it in my hand. In my flesh, I took it. But in my spirit, man, I laid it down. I laid it down. I don't have to argue with you. been meditating on that. That makes me feel I feel a whole lot better. Now look what else he said. I have power to lay it down. And I have power to take it again. Now see how much thought do you have? Mm -hmm. Look how much power you got. You can't <laughs> when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior you have this much power because the Jesus said, it's not I can know the word, but the Father. So just like Jesus said about himself that the Father working through him, Jesus is working through you. So you have the same power that Jesus has. I don't think we believe that we have that. It's hard to believe that I have that much authority within me. I can't even, how you say, I can't convince myself. I can't even, know that so I only imagine, I can't even imagine that much power. Mm -hmm. That's the way fear come in. And that's why I can't think of like that. But he said, we are his generation. So if I'm his generation, he doesn't put all the thought in into me so I can just work the work that he has said I got to finish my work so he works is through mm -hmm. you so you have the, the power if I get out of who yeah. self and let him fully be in control of himself in me oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> let him be in control that's what we're praying for tonight. Yes. Fully controlled. My God. Look at what it says. This commandment have I received of my Father. Now tonight, you got, you got to what? Receive. Now do you receive it? <laughs> you, it don't work unless you receive the commandment.